everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Let's just talk about my day today because I really don't have a lot to tell you other than what I did today. I went out this morning and I went to the gym because I had an appointment with the trainer. In fact, all I did was basically everything that I've been doing before, but when I was getting ready to leave, he said, let's make you another appointment. And I, he says, what are you doing Thursday? And I thought, mm, I don't know what I'm doing Thursday. I think I want to stay home. So I'm going to stay home Thursday. And so he made it for Friday. And he goes, what time do you want to come? And I says, the 8.30 is good for me. If I get there a little earlier, I just start my cardio. I do the cardio, and then I work over to the hydraulics. And he says, we've got to get some steel into your hands and work the ball. I don't know which ball I was talking about. If it's a medicine ball or if it's one of those balls like I sit on, I don't know what kind of ball, I have no idea. But he's gonna do that on Friday. He'll review what I've been already doing to make sure my form is correct. And then we'll move on to some steel. That means I'm gonna to get to touch the, the um, dumbbells, dumbbells and, barbells. and barbells. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Cause that's really what I, what I was hoping to do is to build strength in my upper part of my, my arms. My legs are strong as long as I can get up out of a chair and um, not have to use my hands to help me. And also in, in one of the hydraulic things, you, you do like a scissor, a scissor um, exercise with the hydraulics. And so you're working your, your hips instead of going back and forth like this, you're going like this out, like, like your wings of your arms. <laughs> We'll slap a little bit. Shall we be birds today? Let's all sing like the birdies sing. Tweet, 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 tweet. There's a song. I won't sing it, but that is a song actually mm -hmm. <laughs> from the kids when the kids were little. And there was a bull. And then you would sing the uh, bullfrog song that goes with it. Because once you sang the uh, um, the bird one, you wanted to sing the bullfrog one, and they always seem to go together. Okay, then after the gym, I went to, I went to Dollar Tree. I thought, you know, I saw somebody that went to Dollar Tree and they found this witch. It was a witch's, um, it looked like uh, just, I don't know whether it was wire or plastic. I'm hoping it was wire and I was hoping to find it. And it was a frame that was a witch's hat because what I wanted to do is I wanted to put it in with my plants. And I have some ivy that's growing, so I had a hanger, and you should have seen me. I could not cut that wire for the life of me, and so I said to Jim, could you cut this? I've been working at it, I worked at it for a long time, trying to get those darn wire cutters to cut. And he said the ones I was using were for fine wire, not the one that he was going to use. And so he got a different tool and cut the wire. And I said, can you cut the other side too? So as long as he was cutting... And then I shaped it in like a, a horseshoe. And then I stuck it in my plant and I wound the ivy around it. Because the ivy just keeps going and going and going. It's like a like the Energizer Bunny, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> keeps going and going, going and going. going. And um, so I was looking for that when I went to Dollar Tree and I didn't find it. But I did find some clips that I will show you another time how to use these clips. Because if you have little girls or even your own hair, if you're trying to grow, grow your bangs out, it's a really great way to do your hair. And it makes a really pretty pattern on your hair if you've got little girls. And I used to put it in my girl's hair. In fact, Emily took the clips that I had, so I, don't, I didn't have any more here. But now I have some again. And um, I bought those. And I also bought, because we don't buy cereal, I bought some boxes that you, they're decorative. Do you want to give me one and I'll show them the decorative box. Just one, doesn't matter which one. I bought these. Now you can use cereal boxes to do this. It's one of these boxes that you put your stuff in. And we used to use cereal boxes. See, it's a, it's a pretty box, lovely box. Um, and I would just use cereal boxes because I was too cheap to buy one of these. But because we don't eat cereal, I thought my boxes were getting pretty pretty squishy and dilapidated. And I taped it up a little bit and it was looking pretty bad. So I bought um, 
four of them, and they were a dollar piece at the Dollar Tree store. And then I bought some dice. Now they had dice. You could get six for a dollar, or you could get ten for a dollar. Now, like really? So I bought the ten. Why did I buy dice? I don't know. I just like the feel of dice, and the kids maybe will like to play a game with it. They can shake them and and um, add them up or do something with them. Or they can just line up the numbers and match. They can. There's games you can play with the dice that they could figure out that is kind of fun. Or just keep a tally of how many times they get a certain number and maybe write that down. There's a lot of things you can do with just plain old dice. Then I went to Walmart. I had to go there because I needed some half and half. I was buying the cream, but they the cream that they have... They didn't have it the one day when I went there because, and the cream that they have has carrageenan in it. You don't want carrageenan because that's a cancer forming um, additive. And if I went to Tops, now a lot of you don't have a Tops, but Tops is our supermarket. Tops supermarket, that's a song, I can't like see. Has people, <laughs> so you don't have to talk to yourself. That's the way the words go. Okay, um, we would, it's like a Wegmans, yeah. But Wegmans is actually better because it's more like, when you visit Wegmans, it's like visiting a, a I don't know, a showroom or something. It's got, because they've got a lot of little, little sections in there. So you want to go to Little Italy, you go to the Little Italy part. You want to go to the German part, you go to the German part. You want to go to the, the Spanish part, you go there. And if you want to go to the bread part, my goodness, all the breads. And then they have the different meats, and then they have the different, oh, there's a lots, a lot of things, and fancy foods, and but Tops doesn't have that. But they did have the better cream, where it didn't have the carrageenan in it. But you also pay a lot more at Tops. So I tried to stay away from Tops if at all possible. And so I was buying it at, at um, Walmart, but they didn't have it this one day. And we really needed cream for our coffee, well, at least I do. Um, so I thought, well, maybe I'll buy half and half. It's half cream and half milk, and it will make it creamy. So I still put the almond milk in my coffee, and I still put a little bit of the half and half, and then I whisk it like crazy because I put, I put the protein powder in there because I want a little chocolate flavor. And I put that in there, and then I whisk it so it's nice and frothy, and then it doesn't stay frothy, though. So, but it's still good and it's hot. I like hot coffee, but by the time you froth it, it cools it down a little bit. So it's not as hot. So I might drink it a little while, then I forget that I have the coffee and then I put it in the microwave and warm it up. Well, then I came home after Walmart. Now this is, it's getting to be around 1130 now. And I left the house about a oh, quarter after eight. I think it was, I left. And I sat down at the computer and I always answer all my comments and then I hear the door. Jim's home. I'd been sitting there for, all, what time did you get home? Around 3.30? Yeah. No, it was around 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. And I'd been sitting there and I said, I only have one more to go. Well, I didn't have one more to go. I had three more to go. And then I refreshed it and there was another one. So. It takes a long time to answer my comments, but I love the comments. And sometimes I'm real chatty in the comments, and sometimes I'm not so chatty. It depends on the day. So if you got a chatty one, I was chatty. If you didn't get a chatty one, maybe it was just not a chatty moment. And um, and then I said, then we went outside to the chickens. Well, the chickens were at 3.30 were looking at me. I says, well, they want their treat, and the dog wants its treat. So at 3.30, that's right, you were, you had already come home. Yeah, it was 3 o'clock when you got home. Um, 3.30, I go out and I give them the chicken scratch. And Emma is so funny because she knows I throw one handful far away and the next handful is next to my feet. So she will look at the one that goes far away, but she doesn't move. She knows there's one coming by my feet. And then the one that I always was confused about, the one that I thought was a rooster, and then I think it's a hen, and then I think it's a rooster, and then I think it's a hen. Well, I think it's a hen <laughs> today. <laughs> I don't know what that bird is. It's still young. 
And that one I throw away because it stays way back. It stays away from, it's like, I think it's the lowest on the totem pole. If you had a totem pole and you were ranking yourself, I think it's on the lowest end because it stays way away from all the other ones. And the other birds are all, or chickens are trying to get the food in there. And you hear this bark and you hear this other squawk and, and they're, they're hitting each other and like shooing them away and chasing them. And it's funny because the older ones, they're the ones that eat first, then the next oldest will eat. And then the next ones, the teenagers, they get to eat. Or the, I don't know, there's about four generations, maybe five now. Uh, and so they, they have to take whatever level they were at, that's how they eat. And so we did that, and then I says, oh, they need more water. Their big container is half full, but I fill two, two um, smaller ones and today they got kombucha in, instead of vinegar because I had made kombucha the other day and I forgot I had a jar a bottle of it still in the refrigerator so I gave them that some of that and that's now and then I sat down to make my video oh and I unplugged the camera from the computer and my dog saw me pull the plug and as soon as he saw me pull the plug he went to his little carrier he says oh I guess it's time for me to be quiet and so he's in his carrier, and as soon as I'm done, we open the door. I say, Jim, let the dog out, because <laughs> I sometimes forget. And poor Jake doesn't make a sound. He will just stay in there and be as quiet as a mouse, if a mouse is quiet. I don't know if they are or not. They might be. They, they sneak around, but Jake is very quiet. And so Jim will let him out, and I will take care of my video. And that's my day. I hope you enjoyed traveling along with me and my thoughts and my, yeah, I didn't take you out of the house. Oh, and the clock is cuckooing. The first clock, I think it bonged when I started. I'm not sure. Yeah, the cuckoo is slow. The cuckoo's slow. Yeah. The other one's not coming yet. The other one was on time. Oh, That's okay. And how much time do I have left? Is it going to, for the bonging, is it? Uh... I can't. About, Ten uh, minutes? Five minutes? Twelve minutes? Twelve minutes? Well, I'm going to say goodbye. Right. I'm not going to wait the twelve minutes. But I will say no. goodbye, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye.